high-rise buildings are buildings above 10 stories. Mid-rise are between five and nine, and low-rise is um, below four, one to four. Now, for we, we have a lot of mid-rise and low-rise buildings. We have a few high-rise buildings. Um, when it comes down to high-rise and what we call soft story buildings, those are the buildings with the open basement parking that is very common for the apartments especially. What we recommend is that they are designed, as was emphasized earlier, by an engineer, especially for the structural components. And those engineers must follow a code. It could have been the, the ACI code, or um, some persons might use the British code to design. But whichever code you use, you must be guided and, um, and provide the, the construction contractors or the constructors with enough information to execute. Now, some of the guidelines for simpler buildings like a, a bungalow, we recommend that the, the, the re rebars or the steel that they use be corrugated. We, we, we used to use the mild steel bars, but um, over the years we realized that the corrugated bars provide a better strength for the tensile aspect of the building. Corrugated bars are, are, are what you will see um, at the hardware with the, the grooves on the bar. So the plain bars are without the grooves and the, the, the corrugated bars are the one with the, the grooves around the, 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 the perimeter, the um, circumference of the bar. The problem is you, you cannot really design to prevent earthquake in a sense um, because the, the sine wave and the other factors that comes with the wave, the, the, the most you can do is to, is to um, probably focus on some critical areas. Critical areas um, for the building is like the column and the foundation. And of course, if your soil type is, 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 is bad, if it's clay, it is a bad soil type, and so your foundation type has to be different.